you look like a pimple. This is Edgar. Say hi, Ed. Like you would have to take a double take because you're like, that cannot be normal. When this cat was walking up and down the neighborhood, it was a sight to behold. When I first met Edgar, he hissed at me and tried to swipe me. That's the first thing he did. I want to pet every animal. So I was like, oh, kitty, you're super dirty and you have a giant head, but let me pet you. So he swiped at me. It literally took six months for me to even come close enough to feed him where he wasn't trying to attack me. One day I pulled up in my car and he's just literally hanging out on the grass, chilling, taking in the sun. I was like, oh, hey, bug, I guess you live here now. It's official. Last year we were getting really, really bad rainfall in Florida. I went outside and just started scooping out cats and bringing them in my house. And in that, I realized that Edgar wasn't there. He couldn't find his way home. I ended up seeing him through my fence. He was so dirty. He was missing patches of skin and his ear was completely mangled. We found you, big boy. I know, we're gonna take care of that ear, Bubba. We're gonna take care of that ear. I took him to the vet the next day and that's where the cancer journey started. We're gonna fix you up, honey. Ew. We found out that Edgar needed to have his uh, ear removed. When he came home, he looked like a Frankenstein cat. It was just incredibly terrifying. The skin was so sensitive that when he would groom, his back feet would actually tear open the wound. He has one more worried. He was constantly in a cone. I know, the cone of shame. He just wasn't happy. And he is going to be in the cone of shame for a while. I really started thinking of, okay, what can we do to solve this cone issue, but at the same time, create a barrier between his nail and where his ear used to be. That's how the hats came to be. The first hat that I ever got him was the Winnie the Pooh hat. And I was like, he's gonna freak out. I put it on, he kept it on. It worked. He actually kept a hat on. I think that this is our favorite hat because it matches him. And I feel like it makes him feel like he never lost an ear to begin with. You're a snazzy bear. For the first time, he's actually really happy. I don't say that just because he's with me. I say it because I really believe it. I can see it every day. It's the littlest things that he does. Something in him clicked and he's like, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is where I'm gonna be safe. This is my family now.